Good evening, welcome to Von Moth Presents Moths Ado About Nothing. Moths Ado About Nothing. Moths Ado About Nothing. Where we apply the revolutionary moth scale to classic and contemporary literature. Moths Ado About Nothing. Moths Ado About Nothing. Podcast contains mature content, spoilers, language, you have been warned. Hello and welcome back to Moths Do About Nothing. I am Steve-O, your host, here along with four other lovely ladies and gentlemen, uh, Veronica Hernandez. Hello. Katie Kelly. Greetings. Jonathan Ian Manzer. I certainly am lovely. <laughs> and Scott Thurlow. Hey ho. Um, so today we are doing a short story by Harry Turtle Dove called <laughs> don't laugh already don't laugh already let me let me at least start it I have okay laugh. I'm laughing. myth it's called myth manners guide to greek mythology number one andromeda and perseus now this is a last second story that i kind of <laughs> took down from my took down from my bookshelf i had i had a book of short stories by harry turtle dove who i have never read before and uh at the last, at the you know, a couple days before we had to do this, uh, it came down to me to pick a short story, and I took this book down from my shelf and I said, oh, "Okay, this is one of the shorter stories in here. I'm gonna choose this one. Let's see how it goes." And I have not heard the end of it since. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, it's just beginning. So, <laughs> yeah, listen. This is going to be a very interesting one, and it's probably well deserved. Uh, maybe I should have chosen a story that I've read before. Yeah, but you rushed and you, enjoyed. You roulette the story out of something. Yeah. You, admittedly, you just said never read before so, of any of his things. Right. So, <laughs> I, so I picked something random, and uh, this is going to be it. So it certainly is random. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna kick it to Katie for the log line. Log line, also known as Fan Fiction's Guide to Mythology, Part One. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Fair enough. And uh, we're gonna go to Ian for the uh, for the summary. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. So this is a retelling of the myth of Perseus, except done from and Andromeda as the protagonist. Gender flipped, kind of, yes. if you will. Mm-hmm. And it is retold through pop culture references and puns. Yes, that is, and that, uh, and nothing yeah, else. Nothing else. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> a lot of a lot of puns in this in this year's story. Um, so that's 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 your entire summary. Uh, we're going to start off with Scott with the intro. All right. So yes, it's set up with it's so it it's funny because a number of us here know the original myth. Uh, Veronica didn't. So the thing is, you sort of have to know that in a sense to get some of the things out of it. Not that it makes it good in any way, and which we'll get into later, but to enter the question, the introduction, I think, is it's almost a traditional, of course, Greek myth setup where uh, a mortal is given a quest by a god, i.e. Zeus, but as Ian, uh, I'll steal this from him, the opening scene is honeymooners when Zeus and Hera are arguing, <laughs> like while Andromeda is getting the quest to kill the Gorgons, which is, again, from the, the original setup from the actual myth. So I think it ends when she, like, when Andromeda, that is, Sort of slinks away while Zeus and Hera are still arguing, like having their <laughs> having their um, married couple spat. Thank you for leaving the rest of the story for me to explain. Yes, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, like, he has of to course, cut it off as, as early as possible. Of course, it's more or less set up, like, again, in terms of original myths. So that's it. Here's your quest. You now go out and do it. You get she gets like a magical item, even like yeah, sure. But that's the intro, and yeah, it's full of like five or six puns already. None of which were very good, and that that will continue to be a theme, if you will. And five year old humor too. Like, <laughs> well, the, we yeah. can't send men after the Gorgons because they'll turn to stone. Oh yeah, they'll turn and, to stone. In other ways, <laughs> wink, yeah. wink. Not, not, yeah. No, what I mean, come like, Come on, that's like that's like thirteen year old humor. Let's, let's yes. give credit where credit sure. is due. So fine. Like, here's the thing. Here, here's the here's part of him turns to stone. Yes, some of him at least will anyway. <laughs> Hardy, har, har. <laughs> You lay a hand on those hussies in your mythology. Yeah, like it's it's full of things like that, which is like the entire, in quotes, point and joke of the story, and maybe that joke would have worked for me if 
I was 13 or something. Like, here, <laughs> here's the problem, right? We discussed this in all seriousness on other podcasts. It's sort of the problem of the gap of time. When maybe at, when this story came out, it was humorous. But now, we, like, it's evolved. So it's almost like watching the banana peel gag in an old cartoon. It's not <laughs> funny anymore because you've seen it a thousand times and done better. But the interesting thing is the puns, yes. I stopped reading this at a point and actually uh, messaged... Steve and I hated him. <laughs> but regardless... That's, that's a true story. That, even that though happened. I hate puns, there's things like... The, the three Gorgons are named Cindy, Claudia, and Tyra. Referential humor. That has a distinct it's time dated. limit yes, to it. Yes, exactly. It's dated already. I don't know when this story was written, but that's the big problem with... Ha- like, I hate... I don't mean to go out of this, but like Deadpool was saying that, yeah, like will Deadpool be anywhere near... A, it's considered funny now. But, like, how long will sure. it survive with referential humor? It won't. And this... It's it built feels, on that. Yeah, it sure. feels really dated at one reading. Yet. Sure, that's all I'm saying. So, like, I guess <laughs> for doing our actual scores, I thought it was funny enough, at least in the intro, and it, it was an okay setup, even if I could see, you know, it was clear that it was going to be built upon these kinds of things. But they became more, more and more grating along the way, as we'll speak about. So I guess I'll give it a begrudging, like a soft one as the intro. Because it was... I like... I like when authors will play upon conventional tropes, I guess. And, right. and like, upon things that are ingrained, like myths. Yeah. That's fine. That's a perfectly fine setup if you do it well. And I thought maybe <laughs> this might be intriguing. So I'll get... Uh, all I'm saying is my score is a begrudging soft one. This isn't the, the Leonardo setup. DiCaprio, Romeo and Juliet. This is Tromeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, but I like Tromeo and What's Juliet. Wrong? It's more like Tromeo and Juliet. For a certain <laughs> sense. But, I mean, the, the whole intro is kind of focusing on uh, Zeus's infidelity, which is a well-known thing. In, in sure, it's playing on the joke of that. Almost Greek, every Greek mythology yeah, story is Greek based on that. But not quite, uh, maybe not quite as like obvious in those as it is here although pretty damn obvious anyway but uh, i don't i don't think the intro was bad i I certainly think that other parts of this were bad like i said like it could be an okay setup i think i'll agree with you on like a soft yeah one the premise itself is intriguing but it just doesn't stand up as we'll speak about but like i said i'll give it a one because of its It's, intent it's no stony one that's for sure sure i might have the opposite viewpoint because I hated this story upon when I first started reading it, but then it ca- it's cheesiness. It's like a, <laughs> it's like your dad telling jokes, like I, yeah, I kind get of it, like the short story of first. dad jokes part one. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. If my my dad wrote fan fiction, then maybe that'd be funny. But I don't know if I want to read it. But it kind of endearing after a while, so I don't know where I'm, I, I might have to. Great. I might have to give it a soft one as well. Right. All right. And coming from someone that doesn't know the original Without tale, the background of the actual myths. Right. I didn't know, after a brief discussion with everyone here, I didn't know the original story. So I, going into this, thought the introduction wasn't so bad. I mean, it got my attention. I definitely raised my eyebrows during <laughs> the majority of it. But sure. I kept reading. And... Unfortunately, I kept reading. So <laughs> that is the best uh, description that's, I could think of. That's good one. I'll give it a soft one because it kept my attention. I just will go into what happened after. Mm, yeah. I I think the author kind of lost me on um when he went to oh, go yeah. handle specific puns. <laughs> when he went to go handle hand her the sword with the belt, she <laughs> went kind of off on a tangent about how he was thinking about. Yeah. Wandering Letting his hands. finger w- yes. wandering <laughs> until Hera gave a sharp cough. But <clears throat> I think, you know, I wasn't sure it was going to, that that was the whole tone of the, the <laughs> oh, story until <laughs> a little bit later on. If you were, so it was, yeah, I, I think I would after. be inclined for a zero, too, because it lost me really quick. All right. I had doubts. <clears throat> I definitely had doubts. <laughs> Strong start. four ones to start off uh all right so ian we're gonna go we're gonna go to you for the body how much detail should i go into you should make a pun on body right now before you (laughs) do anything else i've I've been punned out all right fair enough okay so 
first of all, Olympus is like the Beverly Hills of the supernatural world. So like only only the high <laughs> only the gods are allowed on top. So John has to go down to like the slums to find Midas. Uh, and his golden pages, so she can look up where the gorgons are. Yeah, and um, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, the golden all... pages. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, so looking for the Greek, uh, the Roman goddess of victory, because Nike would decide to manufacture shoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Obviously. So, they... <laughs> so that's such a so... clever joke. Oh, that's amazing. Go on. Oh, I... All of these jokes are one hundred percent amazing. So then they go to, um, <laughs> so they're trying to find victory. So like, oh, what's Victoria's secret? Ha 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 ha. Again, to, again, then know what I mean, governor? <laughs> hey, hey, think money, Python. <laughs> they go to Hermes where she gets some shoes. They let her fly over to uh, um, Pompeii where she ends up showing the mirrored shield to the Gorgons who flee because they think they're, so ugly because they have snake hair, uh, which was somewhat clever, but still mm. terrible. <laughs> but still terrible. Oh, oh yeah. Well, we gotta explain the whole thing about the shield, right? The shield shows an ugliness of you, I guess, or whatever. Your inner insecurities, yeah, I guess, is what I got much. out of it. Is what it's supposed to be. But sure. But uh, even that was pretty awful. So uh, you know, going on all about how like. Uh, Mount Vesuvius had erupted at one point and may like or might erupt in the future, destroying. All that was my towns. favorite joke, of course, because <laughs> in retrospect, it's funny. But it's not, at least it wasn't a pun per se. Uh, oh, oh, so when they like, for instance, when the Gorgons see her Hermes shoes, they're like, ooh, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all that kind of fun <laughs> stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Oh, uh, so she's flying back and she sees uh, Perseus uh, chain. To uh to the wall because he failed to kill his father. Um, this is the reversal of the actual storyline. She kills the sea monster, and before she rescues him, she rapes him. <laughs> to certain... More or less. <laughs> yeah. Depends well, how you no, want to interpret it. Definitely. Yeah. He's chained and she has sex with him. <laughs> and he visits. And, he... and he he literally describes that he's excited, and she confirms that with. Yes. However, he seems very, uncomfortable about puns. it at first, and then. You know, changes his mind, I guess, or whatever. That was a really uncomfortable scene, by the way. <laughs> I did not enjoy reading that scene. So I think that's going to be the end of the body there. I'll let uh, Katie finish on with the conclusion. Whoa, but, whoa, whoa, we, we got to talk about the body here. No, but I think that's the end of the body. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. But no, I'm just saying that I'm going to let... I think the rest of this is for Katie to discuss. <laughs> okay. Uh, after the rape of Perseus, but... Oh, God. <laughs> so... <laughs> I think this is very clear cut here. The the actual story itself, you can see that the the intro body and conclusion is actually formatted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes. Formatted to kind of differentiate between the three. So the, in the in the conclusion, they're basically um, going well, through the wedding. Well, and... hold on. Let's uh, let's do the body first because we have to. Oh, I will we'll do the body and give and give our for doing that. Ah, before before, before we move, move Junior, hey, before hey. we move on to the conclusion, sure. Know what I mean, Governor? <laughs> so we'll we'll get back to you. I'll, I'll I'll throw it to you for the conclusion. But um, do you have any other thoughts on it? I'm trying to think of like the one other joke that I thought was okay. I do have something to say about <clears throat> about this. Okay. It it bothers me that the author is a well respected historian. And of all the decisions that he could have made for the story and all the references to Greek mythology locations and places and things, such as, for example, he mentions the Adriatic. It wasn't called the Adriatic in the Adriatic Sea in mythology. It was called the Adria. And it's just little things like that that kind of slip by. Being from somebody who has a lot of knowledge about Greek mythology and ancient Greek history, uh, which I took a lot of classes on, actually, in college, um, it's just it's so... grating that he missed those details. <laughs> Not only that, but it's just I I don't understand why he decided to go about it this way rather than, you know. I agree. I don't understand why he decided about the story at all. Really, I but... think this story was supposed to be like some kind of joke, and like yeah, I, yeah. I, I but I even at that I, at I that actually, it fails. I actually really like knowing more about. After having read this, I was like, I never want to read anything <laughs> ever, ever again. But. Knowing a little bit more, like looking up a little bit of his biography now and like knowing a little bit more about him, I am actually interested in reading some more about him because he does like uh, alternate history type stuff. Yes. Which supposedly is much, much better. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
which which seems kind of interesting to me, and I I, I would like to check that out. But I will give him. All right, I'll just say one more thing. I'll give him credit because he did reference the wine dark sea thing as a yeah. famous known thing from Greek writing. That's fine. Other than that, though, <laughs> I hated all of them. Wait, when did he? Re- it's I, there. There was a there yeah. was a line that he where he says there the wine dark sea. I of, thought that it was a wasted time when he could have done the wine dark sea. He referenced it at least. Uh, he does. It, there's a line in there that says specifically wine dark yes. sea. I don't remember what the whole line is, but yeah, so he I'll does, give him he like begrudging credit on that. But for the rest of again, like it just it's a joke that maybe once possibly was funny, but com- is to me falls completely fat today, especially given the progression of where we come in comedy even and also the references too i mean yes it was he uses cindy course. crawford tyra banks and what was the other claudia one schiffer. claudia schiffer as are the organ references yeah like mm-hmm. wow exactly yeah. <laughs> when have this, maybe again maybe how that long was ago funny was it? yeah so this then, is like but, they also references the other references i think doug mc uh mcdougall no doug jeez where is it there doug, are a couple other references doug, like that yeah you're right doug funny Matt, oh, I'm oh, sorry, no. Matt Drudge, Drudgel. Matt, Matt Drudge. Drudge, yeah. Well, that's still a thing, Drudge Report. Yeah, the Drudge Report. But, again, like, but still, will that be this. relevant uh, <laughs> 10 years, 20 years from now? It doesn't matter if it's relevant. Next will year? it be funny because this is supposed to be a humorous story, and I don't know if it will be, if it yeah. even ever was. No, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I found myself just groaning through the entire body. That's a good description. The story. Yes. Because... Groaning through the body. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. The yeah. body was groaning through you. Let's write a turned up story right now better than <laughs> he wrote this one. It was... Uh, well, I want to go and say Twilight, I think, probably. Oh. Yikers. <laughs> better than this? It's not mentioned Twilight. Uh, <laughs> it's a hard case. Uh, stop stop making that sound, please, Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> on our podcast, don't make that sound on our podcast. <laughs> No, keep making that it. That was my entire <laughs> you make that sound so sound much. effects <laughs> no. during the reading of the story. I'm that was sorry. your thoughts on the story, sure. Which I think is accurate. <sighs> All right, so... Zero. Good scores in the body. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Zero. for me at least. I Sounds can't like... stop laughing at that. <laughs> this is the body I do not want to see again. <laughs> <laughs> zeros, zeros across the board. Yeah. Okay, moving on. So zeros everywhere. <laughs> yes, Veronica, are you gonna be able to pull it together over there? I'll contain myself. All right, I'm not sure you will. I'm good. All right, all right. Uh, Katie, the, the conclusion. conclusion. What did I cut you off about before? No, um, all I was saying is that it's very clear where the conclusion starts. Um, was after they went to go nail his old geezer before Matt <laughs> Judge yeah, I agree Matt with that. Drudge. Put it on the judge report, I guess. <laughs> Put it online, <laughs> yes, as I think it said. <clears throat> Which was never mentioned before or after this, so. Wait, you never heard of the myth of Matt Drudge? <laughs> the myth of <laughs> Matt They mentioned all those like uh, anomalous things, where like cigarettes. She would have a cigarette if cigarettes if were she invented knew what or whatever. She, yeah. If she knew what she was talking about, yeah. like I didn't understand that either. I think I wrote that down somewhere actually. Um, Again, it was a joke that fell flat, at least. A joke that fell saying. flat. Yeah. Anyway, it was for about the wedding, and he made a couple references to the 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 mother in laws, oh, you know, so not she... getting along at first, and then having a good cry in the corner, yes. and then Zeus yeah. making an offhanded remark about the the first wives club. And, <laughs> yeah, um, it was a wonderful wedding. Apparently. Somebody dated well, after a wonderful after wedding. She uh, that almost got destroyed, but then after, after uh, she takes advantage of. <laughs> after the rape scene, after we'll <laughs> after it rapes two of the bridesmaids. No, 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 that's Zeus. <laughs> yes. In the end. But, like, after the, the end, yeah, yeah, initial... Oh, my God, there's so much terrible shit in this. But <laughs> after the rape scene... In many ways possible. Uh, look, on the, hold on, look on the bright side. Because she was... forces him to marry her because she took advantage of him, I guess? I don't... Because yes. now they're a couple, I, I guess. Look, but no, the original myth isn't like that, either. There's no Fifty Shades of Grey references because this was written before, before. that. Listen, there, there, are no sh- no there are zero shades of this have been written today. There that are zero shades true. of grey in this entire story. It's all very obvious puns. <laughs> There's no shades of anything. It's just puns, really. But it did end with a happy ending. And the I, only thing that I have to say about that... Uh, which is a better pun than is contained in the story itself. <laughs> in the real, in the real um, myth, they, the, their children end up becoming the Persians. Yeah, well, yes. Actually, that's something I wanted to, to touch upon, was that the Persians legitimately think that Perseus is the founder of Mycenae. And Mycenae is a great empire that lasted from 1600 to 1100 BC. And these actually mentioned in other historical mythology books that were from the 1st and 2nd century. Um, 
uh, Bibli Bibliotheca is called. It was one of them. But anyway, she originally was the queen of Ethiopia, and Perseus uh, lived in Argos, which is about 90 miles north of Mycenae. And throughout history, they're kind of regarded as like the, the birth parents, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of interesting. <clears throat> Another bad story about, I mean, but there are no puns. <laughs> there are no puns. But like, there. see, none of that has, like, none of that stuff is like conveyed. It's just it. yeah. all fluff, you know. I, exactly. Yeah, that's a perfect description. It's everything played for a joke. And, and he like kind of mentions it afterward, it. like towards the end, and it, I'm just like, why, why even bother at this point? <laughs> and then he has the the obviously as B BDSM reference in the end with chains and <laughs> right, right. Well, honey, it uh. Well, he wanted to go back to the chains. Chains? Haven't you had enough of chains? Well, sort of. I thought we might try it again. Did you? And a good time was had by all. Conclusion. <laughs> Except by us <laughs> readers, of course. That, a good time was had by all. That was definitely mentioned more than once. Yes, it was like a repeated once motif. And yeah. more than one well, was, time that I would ever want to hear it. Of this, uh, <laughs> Which completely fell flat, <laughs> is all I'm saying. Uh... Yeah, so... I agree with the cutoff point for the conclusion, but it just wasn't great. Conclusion? Like, I don't know what to say. Zero for me. Also good? Everybody liked that one, too? Zeros every... Nobody? No, I'm, I'll give it a soft one. Oh, he's giving it one. I was over. <laughs> <laughs> for the no, only... I the story. Is, I did, okay, I did think... I'm not really sure if this is going to get any other points, so I'll give it a one because I was also glad that it was over. Yeah, but it's not because I was, like, really... I actually thought the ending wasn't as bad as the body. Mm. So it kind of, if you wanted to give the introduction to soft one, it's for the same reason I gave the conclusion. I guess I get <laughs> it, but every and I quote everybody. Wait, hold on. At the appropriate time, she let out a squeal, pretending to be a maiden. Everybody in the hall let out a cheer, pretending to believe her. Really, <laughs> you're gonna give that a one? Why not? She also giggled a lot of uh, quite a few times. She giggled. Period. What the fuck? <laughs> <Sure>. like... <laughs> No, it, That's a zero, it's a by the way. Very I forgot for the body, they also did have one line of Latin. They did. They did. Vi malicome vi. Translates to. Whoa, bad hair day, whoa. Oh, God. Still Great. a zero. Yeah. A solid zero now. <laughs> it's nice that he tried to put a Latin phrase in there, but it, again. Or whoa, flat. bad hair, whoa. Uh, I gave it enough credit as I could in the intro, and I cannot have any more points left. Uh, <laughs> at this point, I have no points, yeah, no more points allocated for the rest of the story, Steve. Well. We can end here. <laughs> All right, themes, Veronica. What were the themes? And really, and really try here, Veronica, <laughs> if you could. I mean, it does have one, but so okay. Um, mm. um, themes. <laughs> What themes? There was I don't Okay, so half of this was rape. <laughs> Gender flipped the roles. But is that a theme really? No. It's is not. puns a theme because they would have that. One. <laughs> I, would, I would give a one for that if that was a theme. Um I think it is. Honestly, this Maybe. I've seen or I've read stories that have maybe been a mixture of old school and new school and by that i mean you know traditional so using older settings things, and sure. then you know throwing in pop culture but this was terrible <laughs> they it wasn't even properly you know molded together to get the story going so as far as teams it sounds like they were trying to really get a lot of pop culture references in it and yeah but that they, isn't quite a theme but i know what you mean like the but thing this, is the, it, they were trying to make it as modern and you know um relatable to the audience i guess that turtle dove thought he was going to get to but he m missed it no i agree again it's all like the uh, wink wink nudge nudge hey hey like kind of like joke and that only works like in a very specific it's not even subtle thing. it's just right. it's not at all subtle. i think it's written for a middle school maybe freshman audience <laughs> and attempts, maybe at the time and attempts it, to address, it was written for them perhaps. To, i think it was just a writing exercise like i think it was like that a somehow got like, published as you. a bad joke yeah i agree like I, that's like <laughs> so, i get the sense of that katie for sure like whether or not they i'm actually, not that optimistic <laughs> I think that there was an intent behind this uh, the, to modernize this story because it does hit a number of the key points of the original 
Yeah, I guess that's yeah, true. But the but... problem is, it failed miserably at that. Yeah. I love yes. modernization of storylines. I wish they did it more often with like Greek myths. That, although I have to say, the, though, a lot of times it's not awful. done properly. It, it is, but when it's done properly, it can be. It, it can be. Yes. Cool. It just no, I, between, I'm. Yeah, I, would I know. Say. Yeah. I know. So and this, this one, one is a far, prime far example away. of why they shouldn't do it, <laughs> which is, which makes me want to give this like multiple zeros <laughs> because this takes an entire genre. And sets it back. You can only give a, it one zero. When was Sorry. this written? Um, I don't know if you have a year. I want to say it, but... the early nineties. No, all right. Here's here's my final uh, description. It's a bad SNL skit trying to <laughs> it's use a bad Family Guy episode. Yeah, or that. Yeah, exactly. Any anything <laughs> like that. It just fell on its face, and it tried to live or die, and died hard. So, <laughs> how about oh, that one? Wow. Die Hard was a good one. <laughs> wow. Die Hard with a vengeance? Yeah, see, I'm gonna, as we go on, I'll make better puns than the story itself used. But that's all I have to say about it. Really. It's, it's strictly Die Hard Zero. 4 or I just, 5. I mean, yeah. they had... Oh. Die Harder? <laughs> pun oh, Harder. The die Hardest. <laughs> pun Harder. <laughs> uh, I mean, Andrew Media that. was like the main character. And I mean, I, I'm not going to go too into it because we're going to touch on that again, but... I mean, I got really excited because I'm thinking this is going to be a strong character. She's going to carry it. And that made it maybe like two sentences into the story. I got slow rolled And on then it. Yeah, sure. just got steamrolled. Yeah. Also, did you just say Andromedia? Andromedia? Am I, am I pronouncing that incorrectly? No, you're pronouncing way wrong. Womp, womp, womp. Um, and for yeah. all the shit that you gave me clear. for... It doesn't matter. Uh, Clarice Lispector's name. <laughs> <Lispector>. <laughs> yeah, okay. Andromeda. But Andromeda. <laughs> Thank you. So, correction. So, okay. Andromedia. Andromeda, apparently. she. I was like, oh, hey, there's a strong female character. And, you know, I love those. But, but wrong. Geez, there isn't. She's not strong. She rapes someone. That's not exactly... And then she... I was just oh, wow. enjoying the scenery. She was yeah, yeah. giggling, and she had Hermes flip-flops on. Also, Hermes flip-flops? I mean, yeah. let's just... The winged sandals. That. That's that's a known myth- mythological yeah. thing. Yeah, no, I, I know that one, okay. I you know, but... You? Yeah, I do, but... Do geez. <laughs> and then just... Geez. All right, moving on. Zero. <laughs> See, like, it could contain Zero. a good theme. Maybe. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. <laughs> exactly. So, I guess that's all I can say. In right. All right. I guess in a very weak uh, defense of this, <laughs> <laughs> it contains it, it has the container for a good theme, but there's nothing actually in that container. <laughs> the thing is, I gave it what I felt was the most attempting to suggest what it was attempting to do. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to say, I wanted to give it the most benefit of the doubt. Right. And, and even in, in assessing what. With the noblest of goals, it fell flat. Yeah, I was really trying I to. I was really trying to come up with a theme to kind of defend with this one. No, because every character there's, is point there's five almost no defense character. to it. Yeah, and, and I would say it just doesn't <laughs> actually touch on any. If the container of themes, then... of themes that you're talking about was an actual thing, it would have been a butter container that you <laughs> reused and left food in. <laughs> <laughs> and let it go moldy in the fridge. What's like a, what's a butter container? <laughs> I know it's margarine. Margarine, yeah. Container. Margarine, yeah oh margarine. yeah, I got gotcha. you. So uh, for all that, uh, zero is all around. Zero is all around. Right. Andromeda gets a zero. Yep. Oh my god, <laughs> Angelina. <laughs> Which would have changed the name to Angelina? Would have been a reference had this been written yeah, six exactly. years later. No, I mean, like, look at, we can, you can like cut and paste the references out of this, and like, yeah, it, yeah, you didn't to, really need to, to culture, use mythology as a, a vessel horrible. for this, yeah. like. Oh, Harry Turtle Dove, what have you done? Harry <laughs> Stick to He's good... supposedly a <laughs> very well respected writer. Cool. I, I, like, I, really, I, really I want to this podcast. I kind of want to read oh some God. other stuff that he's done and, and well, see if it's we'll any review good. that later. Anyway, let's keep going. I'm antagonists. You're antagonists, indeed. I am, I, am, I, am, I am the antagonist of this entire Harry table. Turtle Dove, dude. <laughs> Harry Turtle Dove. Puns. Nope. What puns have are, you? Puns are obviously the antagonist, really. I Harry guess, Turtle Dove is the vessel for them. I guess the in Agreed. Puns as the antagonist. Is 100%. It's supposed to be the Gorgons. The Gorgons. No. Uh, I suppose. Two. No. Or wrong gender roles. I guess if you really no. want to make a stretch of it. But not Zeus. Even I guess I can go but with that I, too. Zeus does nothing but 
He's a quest. He's a horny quest giver. Yeah. He doesn't even, he doesn't <laughs> and even that's matter. Really. And like she an, wouldn't have even been there if he didn't ask yeah, her in the first like place. Just like in the real Miss, Zeus is sort of the antagonist, like the catalyst for them. But Call see, the thing, trouble. the thing is though that Zeus didn't in the original mythology. Zeus didn't ask Perseus to go. He was coming home from yeah, that's on, true. From this quest, was it on a quest from him. Yes, he happened to, by chance, come across her and fall in love with her, and then went home and. Well, that's kind of what the reverse her uncle. Was, I think was the point. That was the yeah, point. Yeah, maybe. Like, but she, the setup is she comes different. upon him as she's going back, you know, from yeah. killing the gorgons. So that's the whole reversal. Well, I think he like, failed to kill one of the gorgons. He didn't. He only killed the only mortal one. Medusa was the only mortal Gorgon. Mm. Which wow. isn't even an address. Let's 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 touch upon that. He didn't address that aspect of the myth at all. <laughs> well, he did with the the, hair, the snakes. Mm. No, hair. but not, not not in the sense of. Oh only yeah, so one he, of them. he took the shallowest part about the Gorgons. Yes, yes. exactly. Because also I mean, in a, that story, I feel story... like that's the thing. I think he took. I think he, that he took all of the shallowest parts of all of the, the most common yeah. known things of without story. exploring any. Because of in the original mythology, he beheaded he Medusa, Joker. and then he used Medusa's head to turn her like uncle one, right? into stone, yeah. Yeah, who right. she was promised to, mm-hmm. and then she, he ended up giving the head to uh, a- Athena, Athena, mm-hmm. uh, to put on her her shield. That's how Veronica pronounced Athena. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> yes, that's that's me. I, I was trying to give you some benefit of the doubt, Monica. <clears throat> no, it's okay. I mean, I, I know that I am not. Listen, I will be the first one to admit I am not familiar with the, sure. these yeah, stories. This, this is not material. It's not my Fair. strong point. Sure. But from the you know brief summaries of the stories that Katie, who is much more knowledgeable of this, has told me, this is bad. <laughs> no, it's just using all like the like the most surface osmosis and known it's, cultural it's things without all the, the, delving into the actual themes that the actual myths themselves right. contained. It's all the shallowest parts of the yes. of the Greek myths. Masking, uh, I, nondescript, I'm utterly I, nondescript. I also want to make my case for Harry Turtle not being the villain here. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm wait, we're we're on antagonist. That's right. He has. Um, <laughs> so. <clears throat> Yes, the Greeks were a bunch of misogynist assholes. Mm-hmm. But there are playwrights like Euripides, who did Medea and a number of other works, which were really tried to push the boundaries of pro women narrative and storylines. And Harry Turtledove has, has come, what, 2,000 years later? And totally erased all of their work. Yeah, more, more, than, more than 2,000. <laughs> However many years later. And butchered their, his, their entire... Like, their legacy. Yeah, yes. it's, it's, it's awful. I agree. And I, there's no antagonist otherwise. Yeah. It's just meandering and shallow characters. Well, again, this one's tough yeah. for me because in the story, there's, I, would, I would say that I give antagonist a zero. But if we're calling Turtle Dove himself the antagonist... <laughs> Then yeah, he got to marry. I don't think that's so. fair. I don't think that's fair because he's so a part of the story. Point. He's just the one who wrote it. No, I mean you're right. Like the thing, it's we have to th- we have to constrain right. ourselves right. to the story. Although what about is... the sea urchin? Nah. To, uh, defend, to defend the, Turtle Dove as the antagonist, he is the one that's really antagonizing Andromeda in the story, who I guess is the protagonist. That's fucking well, Waldo Esk, man. <laughs> that's a stretch. If you consider Perseus the traditional protagonist, Andromeda raped him. So, nah, n- the, n- the traditional is, antagonist, or nothing is strong enough to be it. And then he uses her to get back at his family. Yeah. So love is the antagonist. Mm-hmm. Well, well ever, I don't remember that. I don't remember the original fan. story uh, very well. But was the original story <laughs> was it as much of a rape? No. No. Hmm. Perseus met Andromeda. He inserted that in there. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, the original oh, story That's was pun, right? the original story was that to or awesome. Perseus was having <laughs> family problems. His mother yeah. was being harassed by some dude that was trying to like force her hand to marriage and to prove himself. Uh, this guy basically challenged him to do an impossible task, and yeah. so he got help from the gods and killed the Gorgons and. He just was coming back from being being victorious, and so happened upon Andromeda in the sea, who was. Um, it was like a side quest. He like rescued her coming back from the main quest. Yes. More or less. Um, 
Basically, Andromeda's mother, Cassiopeia, proclaimed her daughter was more beautiful than the Nerorids, um, which were sea nymphs that usually accompanied Poseidon, who was Zeus's brother. So, so she threw her into the sea to see if that was true? Um, Andromeda's mother consulted the oracle, and her father consul- consulted the or- oracle, and they said the only way to resolve the situation was to sacrifice their daughter to atone for such an grievance towards the gods. So that's what they did. They put her in, in yeah. chains to the sea, and Perseus, Perseus rescued like her. Flying back from killing gotcha. the Gorgon. From a sea serpent whose name uh... I wrote it down. It sorry. Set- Setus, sorry. Setus okay. was the sea monster. All right. So so all that nuance is lost in this Yeah. Well, I mean, it's the same tale. thing happens, except yeah. for reversed and... Uh, much more terrible. And, and then the he brings writing... her back to um, he brings her back to Argos, and he <laughs> uses the Gorgon's head to eliminate all of her his mother's enemies. And then they get their own land in Mycenae and start Mycenae. Now they have a huge party with all the gods. Zeus <laughs> sleeps with two cupbearers, <laughs> and uh, and a good time. And then just a big and a good time was had by all. And a good time was had by all. Yes. Well, no, geez. he has no, no. In the original, he has to fake losing his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what happened either. That's what makes this all bad. That's what makes the antagonist zero. zero. So I'm going to give this a zero. Zero. Zero's zero. all around. Can't zero, give the story any zero, credit. Zero, zero, zero. All right, zeros. <laughs> and if anyone wants to give it a one, speak up now. <laughs> nope. No. This might be the only part where nobody talks. All right. Scott. <laughs> Hit me. Supporting, supporting characters. Who? No. <laughs> Protagonist. If anyone is a protagonist in this story. Well, I am the hero for having gotten through this story. Of course. The protagonist is the reader. It's me. Yeah, if, if Turtle Dove is the antagonist, then his readers are obviously the, the protagonist. protagonist is you. But of course, it's supposed to be Andromeda. But again, in all seriousness, it'd be, she it, seems like a villain. It'd be a nice setup. She doesn't seem like a villain. She, she just rapes seems another like person. Nothing. On paper, this is a cool setup like premise to flip the myth. But it's done so poorly and so, so trash. Like, I don't know, in poor taste. No, like, trashy is the right word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't want to use that word, but I think perhaps it is accurate. Like, I don't know. It, I just she she's a poor character, even based on her actual original character in the myth. Again, he shaves off all the interesting nuanced parts and throws in like the most bare bones like sketch of of this character. Granted, being the Greek story, she probably didn't have much character at all. Yeah, but she's but she they just didn't made have her a bad yeah, She's at least person. better characterized in the original myth. Yeah. Even if she's less uh, characterized probably. than this. <laughs> that, that is absolutely true. Trust me. So I, again, I, I can't give it credit because none of it was fun or enjoyable or funny even given it, given the, the the intended setup. That's all I have to say. I agree. Does anyone disagree? Yeah. Does anyone have any more insults or like, leverage? Because that's all we're going to be doing. Like the point of Greek myths was to watch like women be upset at other women being beautiful and to like. That was I know, the point of weird. Greek myths. No, but I'm, I'm being facetious here. It. But like, it is like her character is an insult to anyone who's reading this. Yes, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're going to try and bring a Greek myth into the modern day, maybe the Don't thing that do you, it this way. Maybe the thing that you shouldn't get rid of is all the uh, interesting themes and nuances, and maybe what you should get rid of is all the terrible sexism. <laughs> and all your bullshit, all your bullshit <laughs> references. Which but I'm, that's the oh, opposite oh, oh. of what Harry Turtle does. No, 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 no. <laughs> maybe that's his point. Maybe it's the modernized sexism to today. Then he's brilliant. Maybe. No, no you, that's not if it. If you think that was again, Waldo esque the penthouse. I think it's the it's level still you did you know, it's still degrading and yeah, it, obscene right. in a lot of ways. Even if that wasn't his intent, it still comes off very poorly. So And I quote from um the story itself, after topping the rocks they flew north towards Argus and Perseus said, Can I borrow your sword sword for a minute? Why Andromeda Looked at him sidelong. <laughs> Why are you reading this? Because <laughs> it's a fan it fiction. Like, well, I, I assume you're getting to a point here. <laughs> Don't let me laugh before I. T- I like the one you come equipped with. <laughs> Says that. I like the uh, sword no you come equipped with. Oh, she liked yeah. it. 
She liked the way Percy was pecks when he was like struggling against the chains. Yeah. Yeah. We can't take We're not at dialogue yet. I highlighted I all this stuff. You guys are taking all my material for later. This is this is the person who apparently was a was it was she a strong character in the original tale? You're saying that no, she was no, kind she was of the like damsel bland. Distress, more or less. So instead of the damsel in distress, they turned her into. <laughs> A predatory cougar. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that... I like the one you're equipped with. Oh, yes. my you know goodness. Oh, I got this. Guys, one This second. is Fifty Shades of Grey. No, it no. is? Oh, sort my of. goodness. I, I think I have something better, Katie. It's a fan you... fiction that started Fifty Shades of Grey. All of you may agree with she this. She got her material from him. I they know. should have. Someone should make a porno of this, and it would be better than reading the story. <laughs> <laughs> the lives would make sense. No, like, and actually, uh, there would actually be, you know, something enjoyable to watch or, like, <laughs> yes. experience. Because than, all the puns, other than all the terrible puns. Pornographic puns, but anyways. <laughs> Her, Turtle Dub should have been like, listen, I'll give me credit on a different name, but uh, <laughs> yeah. next porn you make. Maybe Harry, Harry Turtle Dub is a pseudonym for him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's he just... wrote, he has, he, actually, he's written under, under pseudonyms. Oh. I believe that is his yes. actual name. Because they didn't think that they take turtles of yes. credibly. <laughs> exactly. See, it's a, it's a weird reversal. But either way, it reminds me of the chocolate. zero on this Oh, so one. zero? Zero, zero, yeah. zero, zero, zero. Anybody oh. want? <laughs> one? Anybody? No? Oh, no? Nope. Anybody? Nope. Last call nope. for no ones. ones. No? All right. No ones. We got supporting characters coming up next. Oh, man. Ian. Jonathan. Ian Manzer. Tell us all about all of the supporting characters well, in this I, You have the story. really shallow females. You have the honeymooners, uh, which are Zeus and um, Hera, yeah. and Hera, which you know, <laughs> true. When I read the Iliad, that's what I thought. Of. I mean, he actually captures like Homer's original in, like intent with Hera <laughs> and Zeus here, because they were just like the, the actions are speak like it's very true to the source material. Then you have Perseus, who's a like zero dimensional character who's just the kind of buff guy it's that point two five dimensional. Yeah, um, I would say. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it Arthos is this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Katie is making a muscle <laughs> and pointing in a direction. <laughs> the bro direction. For for all of our listeners out there, the bro. Katie's making a muscle and the bro in point. Yes. It's yeah. called the bro point. The bro the bro point. She's doing the bro point. It's like uh, you you're you're reading about how his like muscles and pecs are rippling as he's struggling against the chains it's amazingly 50 shades of gray <laughs> and then um i don't know like i don't know is there any other supporting characters there there wasn't much to support this story I forgot the incredibly shallow three gorgons i started off with the shallow well and, i'm sorry oh, yeah the and also victoria and the serpent this is a supporting character. Yeah, serpent the is serpent awesome. Best has supporting the character in the book, <laughs> in the story. I agree. He was too stupid to realize he was so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was actually something that was said in the story. In case anyone thinks that we're laughing and making this up as we go along. This actually happened in the That's story. Very good point. <laughs> I would never take credit for making the stuff up that was in the story. <laughs> I would actually want reverse credit. <laughs> Can I credit? If I if I come up with this, so you're saying if you had come up with it, you would yeah. ask for s- someone else to take the credit. I would publish it on their Twitter, of course. <laughs> and that's what I think should be done. <laughs> no, so, see, the thing is, supporting characters are good. We can insert everything, every question we have on our scale in, in terms of the story can be answered with puns. So, supporting character, puns. <laughs> and I'll give that a zero still. I'm going to, I'm going to give supporting characters a one for the serpent. <laughs> That's right. I love the serpent. Well, I, get, yeah. I embrace the serpent. Wait, wait, what was it? Hold oh. In a grand actually, of his death. for if he, if this was actually supposed to be a. Com- no, I don't want to say comedy, but well, I'm giving it way too much to credit. Be. But if it was supposed to be a, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a parody or a satire? A parody, yes, a satire. I would give it a one for the supporting characters because that's the only redeeming factor. <laughs> I don't think it redeems itself enough. I, li- I do like your choice of Sea Serpent, though, in a grand edition of like yeah, choosing a good yeah. character. But see, <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Grand I know. Edition. It's a joke unto itself, which I think is funny. But I, again, I'm not going to give this story any more credit than I think it deserves, which is like nothing at all. No, no one's giving Matt Drudge the supporting character. No, you don't get it. No. You don't get it. that guy. He's not, not even in it. He's not a character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just mentioned the Judge Report. Yeah. 
the sea serpent had like two sentences. The sea serpent yeah. was part of the story. At least it was, at least <laughs> two it was, sentences. At least it was an part of the story. Scene. It appeared and then it, it got not, There was an action scene. You're right. So sea serpent was too stupid to right. recognize its own. One, one for me for supporting characters. Yes. Zero for me. Someone find the one. As Susan Hera had the best uh, characterization. That was just stolen straight from Homer. Yeah. I'm going to give Homer a one and Harry Turtle the Like by default. Zero. Like, yeah. So what? This is a zero? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Veronica, zero. Yes. Um. All right. Dialogue. Oh, does Katie have K-K. this? K.K. Please. Please start this off. Start us rest. off. <clears throat> Shall we Kelly. go page by page, alphabetically <laughs> or chronolog- chronologically? Uh, can Your you choice. do it alphabetically? I would prefer that actually. Start with the A puns <laughs> and get us to the Z puns. If you have a Z and pun, sometimes it's not Mr. Swan, oh, Mr. Shower it, of Gold, Mr. Bull, plenty of bull for all g- girls from here to Nineveh, and I'm damn tired of it. <laughs> and let's be clear, tired is spelled like T or a bank, like T Y R E D. All right, let's not uh, let's not do all the puns. <laughs> the Adriatic, which was supposed pick, to be Adriatic. Pick your three favorite puns, Katie. That's oh, that's man. all you can do. I get, no, it's not puns. It's just I, I have I have problems with. Pick just... your three most hated parts of dialogue. <laughs> all right, overall, it overall. seems like a high school conversation. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure we passed notes which, with better which commentary. We did pass notes in, in high school, school with be better fine if it was, dialogue. If it was actually fan fiction, as your logline said, but it was. This was a professional author at the time. A trying, professional author trying to attempting a, a satire. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, the the fact that he used puns like Midas's golden pages. Um, yeah, that was horrible. Kmart, <laughs> really Kmart terrible. was in there. Victoria's Secret. Um, Sports Illustrated. Things like uh, they were lined up on the beach like three ten pins, except not so heavy at the bottom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's right. Womp womp. Oh, Sports yeah, Illustrated was also mentioned, and she's like been there, done that. Who Tyra? Uh, One of them was. <laughs> they all said it actually. Yeah. She didn't hear who said it. Yeah. Um. Mm. He was waiting to be eaten, and she called him a garbage mouth. <laughs> she admired his pecs, <laughs> pecs and abs. Um. She just stopped by to enjoy the scenery. Garbage she's mouth. giggling, and. She hiked up the clammy oh clamus God. and did it. That is the worst one. Uh, and the sword. The Come on, guys. Well, the sword. Let me be clear. If there's one, like, I'm not saying this in any way saves it or anything, but I always... You already like mentioned a, that. That's I like a I good didn't. Freud reference. So they said sometimes the sword is just a sword. <laughs> and that was, like, maybe, possibly... Probably one the best accept. line. Uh, yeah. Probably but, the best line. Because it's preceded by this. Uh, Jeremy looked him over. He meant it literally. She could tell. She giggled. Greek statues always underestimate right. things quite a bit here. She giggled again. Oh, okay. Sometimes the sword wasn't just the sword. Yeah. They're talking oh, about yeah. his dick. Yeah, thank you, yeah. What? <laughs> but I think number one, number one, El Numero Uno, a good time was had by all. Seriously. Uh, well, to be fair, though. Was, was also the closing statement as well. <laughs> That's true. The closing this, statement. This story has probably given us the most laughs that we've had in a single podcasting session. Sure. I would say. So for that. Zero. <laughs> so for that, a zero. zero. <laughs> yes. Yeah, mark me an official zero. Uh, I'll put Scott down as official zero. Katie, zero. also zero. Veronica? Uh, seriously? A zero. Veronica, what is your score? A zero. Zero? Okay. Uh, Ian? You said you were here to be eaten, she pointed out. By a sea serpent, if you don't think this is more fun, her shrug was petulant. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I like the inflection That's on horrible. the last part of that. Petulant. Petulant. <laughs> oh, okay. So, style. All right. <laughs> You seem resigned to how this is going to go. All right, so style. um, No, just lacking throughout. Um, Amateur. He again. I we mon- we commented this on this earlier. We wrote better notes in high school to each other than the way this was written. And Maybe while- a couple. You probably wrote worse notes in high school too. Let's be fair. M- much well, more entertaining can, than this. Got more months, though, it's put in yes, bit. entertaining. Not maybe as. Maybe more illicit, sure. <laughs> if anything. Yeah. If you're going to, it was I was caught between 
trying to understand in all seriousness in seriousness turtle dove trying to do a modern take on this story after you guys kind of briefly you know gave me the insight into the original, original story right, right. Mm-hmm. And, and it literally being a fan fiction because halfway it wasn't like, literally a fan fiction it, it pretty much was honestly it was if you pull to up we have fan fiction to this please. i can we have read you. fan fictions we know when we see one yes and i am not ashamed um <laughs> Listen, this I is... I guess maybe it kind of is a fan fiction. Because I would have been able to stomach this story if... Greek god slash fic? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, if we, we find, if we search that in fan fiction, I'm sure we're going to find I, some better than this. We're going to come up with a ton of hits. Harry Turtle Dove wrote most of them. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> <And poorly. laughs> it's just, there is no style. This is... It's, it's, there is no... You know, there, solid copy pasta. Tell me what the style is because I will tell you. no, because honestly, this I, I'm caught between him making this a joke or is this serious or is this what is this? There's I'm lost after the introduction and I told this at the beginning of this podcast. They had me at the introduction, possibly a couple weak points in the introduction, and then it just went straight right. downhill. I will say one right. thing: that's my entire thoughts on all this. Man cannot live on puns alone, and that is what the story <laughs> tries to do, and that's a, that's the style of it. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. Yeah, yeah. As the yeah. same with every question, the answer is puns. Yeah, of puns. course. The, the style of this was to exactly. be a joke. It wasn't trying to be serious, and it can't sustain itself. Or was it? But no, th- if the style wasn't. is satire, it's still it's not still effective. It's still lacking. No, I don't exactly. think it was effective. That's why I'm going to give it a zero. But there was a style. Of if the course. style it, was a Pokemon move, it was again. ineffective. I don't yeah. even think, even if as a as a joke, as a satire, a it still pull. failed. Deep pull, Katie. It's a turtle dove esque reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's only turtle turtle totally fitting. I don't listen. I'm not a writer nor am I a comedian. <laughs> I think you're either a Harry Turtle. Somehow, yeah, <laughs> and somehow you're doing a better job than him at both of these things right now. I'm totally uh, proving uh, our point. Uh, zeros right. cross the board. Let's yes. go. Okay. Chop, chop. Zero, 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 chop, zero, chop. zero, zero, <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Ten zeros. All right. Uh, I'm going to start on thoughts and recommendations. First of all, I would like to say I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucking shit. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. I had a lot of fun. I apologize to everyone at this table for making you have read this. However, you're welcome for this conversation. Sure. So, you know, it all comes, what comes around goes around. You stole 10 um, minutes of my life and I want them back. <laughs> That's all I can say. He tried to make it up by how funny you find it. But, uh, yeah, this is not a good story. I can't recommend it to anybody. I would like to, I honestly, I would like to read more of Turtle Love stuff, and maybe it'll be good. And if I read one more thing and it's anywhere near as bad as this, I'll We're doing other podcasts. burn every book, every book that I see of his. But, um, anywhere? No matter anywhere, yeah. In the bookstore. I'll, just, I'll, I'll bring, uh, I'll bring, like, uh, uh, Barrels into bookstores and just throw all Turtle Dove's books in there. Have a big barrel fire well, in the middle of the store. I, I wish you would do it. I'll, fi- I'll film it and put it up right. on our YouTube channel. Download be... Turtle Dove, I suppose you uh, could call it. If but... Trump becomes president and decides to do a book burning, you will gladly donate them. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll give I'll give Trump Turtle all Turtle Dove's books. Turtle Dove will be first books. against the wall. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's that's me. I'm gonna give it a zero. I guess we'll just go around to my to my uh, correct. Uh, yeah. I'm right. not recommending it. If, if you've ever heard of this story, don't forget that we ever told you about it. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's all. I would recommend this to a very specific group. If you have people that a hate themselves, podcast <laughs> that reviews literature, or a book club where you drink heavily during, <laughs> read this. Have a lot of fun. Otherwise, read anything else. <laughs> I don't care. Read the original anything. myths. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. That's my recommendation. Um, I, I also am in agreement. Uh, I would not recommend. However, I do agree with you, Steve. I, I kind of poked around about other Harry Turtle Dove's works, uh, both under the same and his, under his pseudonyms. But um, it, he was on Isaac Asimov's... Uh, newspaper or newsletter or something mm. like it's very highly recommended and he's done a lot of other um historical genre uh 
Yeah, he's pretty known to respect non fiction. Yeah. Maybe um, how? Maybe when he gets maybe when he <laughs> gets away from on things, multiple like areas it. and things like. like I, I one of his books he actually uh I think he said that he basically created a modern story about if um the Muslim crusades never took over and the Roman Empire never fell. Mm-hmm. Um which I thought sounded incredibly interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, all his actual like alternate history premises to to be quite serious and agree with you, like seem really cool and are respected for the fact that, as far as I can gather, are well written and are like again That's why I'm like, nothing ter- like this. I'm, but I'm, I'm thinking that this is like a it's like a one off a practice, like, a you know, like a, yeah. a writing prompt you saw and you know tr- decided to try it out. That's what like, it feels like for sure. It. I yeah I I know. Yeah, like afterwards when he got public, hey, look, a lost story from Harry Turtle Dove. You're like, all right. That's what it seems like. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <Sure we're being laughs> <lost>. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, exactly. That's really funny, and I agree with that. Yeah. All That's right. All. Veronica. Uh, no. <laughs> and that'll be that. All right. Says it all. No pun needed. It's a milestone. Go so, on. I'm gonna give the scores here. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. They weren't very good. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler alert. The high scores were Ian, Katie, and myself went up to twos. and up the two twos? Is that a fucking pun? <laughs> <laughs> fucking knock it off. <laughs> cut, cut it out with the puns already. Uh, and uh, Scott and Veronica gave it ones. So the total score of that is a 1.6 and um you know, in time, perhaps we'll all forget about this. If this ever <laughs> I happened. sure hope so. <laughs> so I'm going to just close this out here uh, for myself, Steve-O, Veronica Hernandez. Oh, man. She says bye. Uh, <laughs> Katie, <laughs> Kelly. Good night. Jonathan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take that back. Rest in peace. <laughs> A good time with that by all. Jonathan Ian Manzer. I can't wait for the next Harry Turtle the Beast. I think it'll be lower than this one. <laughs> and Scott Thurlow. I think I have a straight six. <laughs> good night. Have a good night. Lots to do about nothing. Lots to do about nothing. Music and editing by Chris Morgan. Lots to do about nothing. This has been a Lawson's production. All rights reserved. <laughs>